everyone, I'm Barb and welcome back to my channel. And today I am showing you how to make my very favorite black bean recipe. I've been experimenting with this for a while and now I'm ready to unveil it to you. Um, I'm using my Instant Pot, but if you don't have one, you can do this with canned beans and I'll tell you in the description how to do that. Um, and you'll get a sense from the spices that I'm using. So don't go away if you don't, even if you don't have an Instant Pot. So these beans are savory, smoky, and spicy. We keep a batch around the house all the time. And um, this recipe has actually changed my life. I love this black bean recipe, so I'm excited to show it to you. Okay, so in your Instant Pot, you, this is one cup of dried beans that I have rinsed. So we're gonna add that to our pot. And then I'm also going to use, this is about a half an onion. We don't need to chop it or anything. We're just gonna throw it in there put it on top of the beans and then that'll get all mushed up as they're cooking um, you need three cups of liquid so usually I do one cup of water and then two cups of vegetable broth and I find it's easiest to use this I really like the better than bullion so I'm gonna use about three quarters of a tablespoon of better than bullion or you could use um, homemade vegetable broth or something that you've purchased. So about two cups of that and one cup of water. So we'll put that in. Now, here's what makes it spicy. So I'm going to add some chipotles in adobo sauce. I already have some left over from other batches I've been making. So you get to decide your spice on this. I usually use about two chipotles and put the adobo sauce in there as well. So that makes it really spicy and um, you get to control how much you put in. At the end, you can also decide if you wanna chop up the chipotles and leave them in your beans or if you wanna pluck them out. So um, that also helps you control the spice a little bit. Then with our seasonings, I'll use about a teaspoon of each one of these seasonings. So I have some lime juice. I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of lime juice. With my Instant Pot, I don't feel like I have to be super careful about measuring. I feel like if it's um, about a teaspoon of coriander, here's where it's gonna get smoky. So I have about a teaspoon of liquid smoke. And then also some smoked paprika. Oh, it smells really good already. About a teaspoon of that. And then a teaspoon of thyme. And all of this will be in the description for you. Put that in. And you can adjust too, if you like a little more thyme or if you like a little more coriander. And then I'll use about a teaspoon of a savory no salt spice blend because it, there's plenty of salt in that um, broth mixture in that better than bullion so we don't wanna add extra salt. And that's everything. So I'm just gonna mix it around and I will set it on pressure cook high for 30 minutes. And when it's finished cooking, I'm gonna let it natural release for 20 minutes and um, then I will strain the beans because it'll be pretty liquidy and they will be ready to eat. So I will see you when they're ready. All right, we're back. So they cooked for 30 minutes on high pressure and then I let them natural release for 20 minutes. And then I just used a slotted spoon to scoop them out of the pot because there was quite a bit of liquid. And you can see that the onion has, I, I mixed the onion in there. I like to leave the onion in. And then you can decide if you wanna leave the chipotle in, depending on how spicy you want it. So we have our black beans that'll be ready for us to enjoy during the week. And so one of the ways, one of my favorite ways to have it is just to put it on a tortilla. And I put a little extra hot sauce on there, some salsa and some fresh avocado. And this makes a great quick and easy lunch. And then actually for dinner tonight, we're gonna make Mexican fiesta bowls. So I'll make some brown rice, we'll have our black beans, I'll saute some vegetables, and then we'll put the, all of that in a bowl with some salsa and some avocado on that. And um, 
So tell me in the comments, how do you like to use your black beans? What other ideas do you have for fun and delicious ways to use the black beans? So thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, think about subscribing. You can find me at eatforhealthllc.com for free classes and more resources for plant-based eating. See you soon and thanks for joining me.